clue this at the moment. So in this video, I use the, uh, finance administration tools to build a customer call variable for finance agents desktop. So let's log into finance administration. So first of all, a beautiful few call variable layout. I'll say a uh, demo layout on the volleyball uh, call variable one. We use header and uh, the columns. First column will be call account number and call variable two and call type call variable three. You have ten volleyball call uh, variables, and you can also build a custom. Uh, call variable. Let's click save. Now we have a demo layout. Click edit. You will see we have created uh, the the uh, layout columns. So th this demonstration will build out uh, our script to, uh, to call out the call variable layout. So now here we're seeing a basic script. Uh, we have add a few variables. So now we're gonna make a string. Uh, we call it layout header. Name will be uh, value layout header. Name will be demo. Now the variable is also a string. The card layout list for the value of say a uh, demo layout. Um, now I'm going to keep adding few string. It'll be a uh, account number. I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five. A helix string. A string. Call type. Uh, that'll be sales. So now let's go to this. This set enterprise info. In here, we do some mapping. We'll set or uh, proliferate variables. One, two, first, it'll be layout header. Next, uh, next, it was a uh, account number. It'll be our proliferate variable two. The third one is our call type we make proliferate row three. So now under expanded call variables we'll make a value user layout list month to your name or make a user dot lay out check OK. We are using UC tag, so can you note this message? Click OK. So now we'll go to setting and expand the core variable. I will make a name uh, user dot layout. Click OK. And we will uh, go to two validate. It's succeeded. Um, then we will go to make it uploaded to our UCCX and test that out.
So a skilltrol agent and Mega Tessacor. Connect to resource. Let's answer the call. Let's call. We're seeing call variable one, call variable two, call variable three. And these are just gonna just gonna match what we set in the script.